Hello everyone, and welcome back to my channel. This latest video of HMS Victory. I'm working on the top rail at mast, which is issue 64. I follow the instructions that sort of comes with a kit, but I don't follow them to the word. There's people who've watched my videos before know I go off and do hit me on way a little bit. I think that's the best way to learn. Okay, let's try to get building. Okay, so it's time to start working on the top gallant mast. I've already tapered the royal mast. If you would like to see that, I'll leave a card in the description. You can watch that back. So all I want to do now is I want to start tapering the hound, like we did in the previous video. I'm not going to show you exactly like everything I did in other masks. I don't want you to get bored just watching the same thing over and over again. But obviously, I'll, I'll pay more attention to things that we haven't done and haven't come across already. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to taper that back. Hopefully you can see where I've tapered the other end of the mast in, ready for the hound. Let's create a nice angle. Before we add the hounds, let's go to centre the mast. The mast is 6mm, so all I've got is uh, two pieces of 3mm stock. Just clamped it either side the mast. Let's clamp them. Let's put this on the port and have it firm. Let's draw a line down the other side. No point mark it before I tapered it because it just would have been lost in the tapering process. That's a mass centered. Okay, so I'm just going to put the top gallant mast to one side, let the glue dry. So while that's happening, I can work on some more parts of the mast. I've got some rope guides that come in issue 64. That's the trouble with part work sometimes. That's designed to go on top of the mast cap or the lower mast. Which I personally, I think it should all have been added before. You got to this stage, but that's a trouble with part works. So I'll just glue these three together and I'll put in some mast, some rope grooves. I've got the top mass back and I'm just going to add the cheap blocks. cheap block that the other cheap block that came in the kit obviously it's done a runner somewhere can't find it but it's no big problem 
I'll just cut myself another one. I just want to sand it a bit flusher and that'll be fine. Okay, the three parts of the rope guys have all dried. I'm just give a quick sand down and all I'm gonna do now is just just use a round file. I'm just gonna work in some grooves so it looks like the rope's been rubbing against it for years. Do it in all three. After losing the first cheap block, couldn't find anywhere, so I had to make another one. So I had to make it out of a freebie two. I don't think it's a bad, a bad replacement. I'll just fit that. Just fitted the mask cap to the top mast, added the brass eyes, so it's pretty much ready to receive the top gallant. I've just finished off the octagonal hounds, and just have to admit that pretty much the entire build of this HMS Victory, I find fitting these octagonal sections one of the hardest things to do so far, but hopefully, I've got a few more attempts at it on the fore mast and the muzzle mast so hopefully they'll get better. I'm just gonna lay it dry and I'll just smooth all the ends off, square it all up. Just adding a bit of balsa filler just to fill in any of the gaps. All I do is just put a little bit into to a little artist palette, add a little bit of water to it and makes it a bit more smoother pace and you can pretty much brush it into all your gaps there. Lay dry, sand it down. Just going to drill on the holes, then my sheaves. Just going to start with a 0.7 drill, try and keep it as square as possible. And then just work up to 1.5 mil drill. Just put my 1.5 mil drill in, and just going to extend the holes. On my instructions, we just pretty much drilled six holes and leave it as that. But they're more like pulleys on the real victory. So what I'm gonna do is just, I'm just gonna carve a little channel in each one. Just to try and represent it a little bit more of a pulley. It's not the easiest thing to show you on video. But obviously on the next one I'm gonna do. What I'm doing is pretty much just lining up two holes with a scalpel. Just pretty much joining the tracks up and then just carving out the center. And then just keep working here to take a little bit more out. Just so it looks a little bit better. Then just file, file it. And get a sand and just smooth it off and it just looks a little bit better than just the two holes. So I've just brought the mask back over and put it in the lathe. What I'm going to use it for is, is what I'm going to do is just want to square this edge up. I just thought it'd be easier to obviously square it up while, the, while it's been rotated. Square the edge up really nice. Well, that's all the ends of the octagonal hound all smoothed out. 
you notice I've not got the other part of the mast on when I first started practicing turning and tapering this mast you see I'd already, I'd already uh, cut the octagonal to end on and also once I put it into the lathe it snapped off so all I've got to do, I've kept it, all I've got to do is obviously I'm just going to do a little pinhole, super glue it, super glue it back on. I've just drilled a hole in the bottom of the top gallon mass and I've drilled a hole and fitted a pin in the octagonal base. So I'm going to do now just add a bit of PVA glue. In fact, I'm just going to add some super glue. Some super glue. Bring the two parts together and just line up the holes. Okay, so I've just dry fitted the top gallant to the top mast just to see how it's going to line up. I think it looks okay. Quite happy with the main mast for the first attempt. It's been 20 years since I worked on the mast, so hopefully, as I do the fore mast and the muzzle mast and all the yards, things will get better as your skills improve. I've decided to add my own uh, top of the mast on. I didn't like the one that came in the kit, just a ball, and I thought that looked a bit more accurate. But it's completely dry, it's once shaving around a bit, sanding down. But the top gallons all ready for paint. The mass has been drying overnight, so it's now time to paint it. As I did with all my previous videos, I'm just going to undercoat it first with a couple of layers of airbrush. So it's a lot, layer, <coughs> a lot thinner layers. And I'll go over the top coat with it, obviously straight from the pot. I'm just going to coat the whole thing in yellow oak to start with because I mean, I'm about to darken that up. I'm just about to paint that black. Obviously the black is a lot stronger colour than the yellow ochre, so it doesn't matter if I colour that in. Continuous passing, just rotating the mast with every stroke. And you get a nice even layer. Leave that to dry two or three minutes and we'll go over again with another coat. While the top gallon mast is drying, I'm just going to paint the, the bits we added on top of the top mast. Just the cheeks. Just using the hand brush. Nice and thin. Always trying to go in the same direction. So you get nice even brush strokes. That finished. Leave that to dry. And carry on. Just finished with the yellow ochre, so I'm just going to swap over and obviously finish the, the top gallant with the, the black parts I need to So before I swap colours, just a little bit of, bit of airbrush cleaner. Get your brush. Wipe it down and just put it in the in the pot. Get it clean. Spray it all out. Get just your rag inside your cup holder. 
and you're good to go. Top gallant bass had a good hour to dry, so now I'm just going to mask it off and airbrush the parts black that I need. Mask off the rest of the mask. Just put the masking tape around and obviously where you need it to cut in for the edge of your different paint and then just use a paper towel just fill in the rest of the mask so you don't have to use the masking tape all the way up I'll just put a few drops of black into my cup and all I've got now is a little bit of airbrush thinner just a few drops and just use your paintbrush and just get a good stir if you want it to be like consistency of milk the airbrush okay yeah that's kind of how you want it just keep turning the mass as your airbrush is on all the blank done on the top gallon. That's all the masking tape peeled off. It's okay. Just gonna do, put a little bit of black wash into the, the where the pulleys are, just to highlight them. Other than that, that's all painted and ready to be added to the top mask. Also, I've reworked the handrail. It's added these like turnings, obviously to make it look like it's a ballast rail. I was on before, and the balls just rounded off the edges of the columns just to try and make it a little bit more realistic I was going to use this build just to get myself back into the hobby but obviously if you invest in your time into these things you decide that if you're going to do it you may as well try and do it as best as you can and that's what happens all the time on token that's why these builds take like three years four years and so on but it's all worth it well that's all the free mass finished I think you agree, well I hope you do, I'm going to turn out ok. So I'm going to start working on the, the yards next. I still haven't added all the blocks. I still haven't uh, found a good enough solution for the blocks yet, what to do. I don't know if I'm going to try and make a few myself, but I don't know. Maybe. So what I'm going to do now, I'm actually going to fit them, these masks of victory, dry fit them. It's the first time I've ever seen them there. And I'll let you see that. So I've just fitted the mask for the first time. Still need some a bit more work near the bottom, but I'll do all that as we do in the uh, the quarter deck. Up she goes on. Up she goes. Turned on. 
Where do you go to? <laughs> Never mind. Well, that's it for this video. Hope you've enjoyed it. Hope you enjoyed watching me make the top gallant mast. I think in the next video, I think I'll be starting working on the main yard. Same again, I'll be obviously using my mini lathe to turn and taper that. So to just keep practicing with the lathe and obviously making it things a bit easier. And also, I think I'll probably add all the blocks to uh, the main mast. So in between now and obviously making the next video, I'll either try and source some better blocks or I'll have made some myself. So we'll see how we go. Well, thank you very much for all been watching. I hope you're enjoying the videos. I'm enjoying making them. I'm thinking about obviously moving forward is obviously always going to be releasing a, a HMS Victory vid video out on a Tuesday evening. I do a lot of me uh, building over the weekend, so I was it was I edit them on a Monday. I should be able to get them out on a Tuesday. Well, don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you all next time.